Amphibians are a fascinating and diverse group of vertebrate animals that are known for their unique life cycle, which involves an aquatic larval stage and a terrestrial adult stage. Let's dive into the world of amphibians and explore their remarkable features and significance in our ecosystems. Amphibians are named after their amphibious, or double lifestyle. The term amphibious describes the ability of an organism to operate both on land and in water. They typically begin their lives in water as aquatic larvae with gills, later undergoing a transformation into adults with lungs that can live both in water and on land. This transformation is called metamorphosis, akin to a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Let's check out frog metamorphosis, which is a process showcasing the transformation from egg to adult. It begins with eggs laid in water, which hatch into tadpoles equipped with gills and tails. As they grow, hind and front limbs develop, leading to the dramatic metamorphosis phase. During this stage, the tail is absorbed, and lungs develop, signaling the transition from aquatic to terrestrial life. The final result is the emergence of a fully formed adult frog with the ability to live both in water and on land. Amphibians are characterized by several key features, including smooth, moist skin that is permeable to water and gases, a larval stage in water, and a two-chambered heart. Anurans, Caudates and Gymnithiona are the three groups of amphibians. The first group is called Anurans. These are the frogs and toads, known for their hopping mode of locomotion. They have powerful hind limbs for jumping and catching prey, and they typically lay their eggs in water. The second group is Caudates. This group includes salamanders and newts. They have slender bodies and long tails, and some can regenerate lost body parts. Caudates often have a more direct transition from aquatic larvae to terrestrial adults. The third group is Gymnophiona. Gymnophiones, or Sicilians, are legless, burrowing amphibians that resemble earthworms. They are found in tropical regions and are the least well-known of the amphibian groups. Amphibians have diverse reproductive strategies, Many lay eggs in water, where they hatch into aquatic larvae, and unlike the familiar eggs found in kitchens, amphibian eggs lack shells. Instead, they are encased in a delicate membrane and often protected by a jelly-like substance. Some species guard their eggs and young, while others have internal fertilization and give birth to a live offspring. Amphibians have adapted various sensory mechanisms, some species use vocalizations for communication, like the croaking of frogs. Others have specialized skin cells that can detect changes in light and dark, allowing them to sense movement in their surroundings. Amphibians are often considered canaries in the coal mine when it comes to environmental health. Their permeable skin makes them highly sensitive to changes in water and air quality. Declines in amphibian populations can signal ecological imbalances and pollution. Amphibians occupy various niches in ecosystems. They serve as both predators and prey, helping to control insect populations and participating in food chains. Many amphibian species face conservation challenges, including habitat loss, pollution, climate change, and the devastating effects of a fungal disease called chytridiomycosis. Efforts are underway to protect and conserve these unique animals. Amphibians have an ancient evolutionary lineage that dates back hundreds of millions of years. They represent a transition between fish and the first terrestrial vertebrates, making them a critical group in the evolutionary history of vertebrates. Amphibians are essential components of ecosystems worldwide, and their existence plays a vital role in maintaining ecological balance. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.